to check in for a quick hit with our Bream team panel tonight. Fox News contributors Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host, and Jason Chaffetz, former chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. All right, guys, we're up against a tight one, so I want to get your reaction tonight. Um, Jason, you heard all the things the president is up against uh, going into the midterms, record gas prices, inflation, all kinds of other tragedies that are happening. Um, combined with what we're seeing tonight, does it shape your prediction or change it all for the fall? Um, I think the, the Democrats are in deep, deep trouble. They lurched further to the left. I look at the Pennsylvania Senate race. Um, it, that, that, it, their candidate is much more in favor of Bernie Sanders than they are of Joe Biden. Uh, that does not mean to me that they're actually listening to the voters. Uh, I think they're in for a slacking that's uh, coming, this big red wave that's going to uh, overtake them. The primary, particularly in, in Pennsylvania, is early enough, even though it's going to be a contentious race, by the time the summer comes around, they are all going to rally around the idea that they need to defeat the Democrat. All right. And Leslie, we also have a bunch of new numbers in from University of Massachusetts Amherst, a poll today that show big drops for the president among every just about group that you can think of, including those who voted for him, um, women, um, young people, uh, drop, a drop among African-American voters, Latinos. I mean, these are huge double digit drops for the president and his approval. Um, how does that impact his party this fall? Well, it may impact the president negatively, but when we look at Tim Ryan in Ohio, who is not uh, embraced in uh, you know, the Democratic Party uh, the way Jason is talking about, he's actually said things against the party uh, most recently in the campaign. When you look at John Fetterman, I mean, John Fetterman may have been supported by Bernie Sanders and used to you know, smoke pot for many years back in the day, but this is a guy that is a gun owner. This is a guy that doesn't wear suits. This is a guy that's very working class. Uh, for uh, blue-collar people in Pennsylvania. He is very Pennsylvania, and, mm -hmm. and I think that's what we're seeing there. Also an independent, right? We also saw Evan, uh, our independent, who is a friend of mine, uh, you know, who Democrats are back. So I think what Democrats are doing in my party is looking at candidates and, and the persona, not just the policies. Mm -hmm. So I would yeah. disagree with Jason on the policies going for well, the left. And I think in these races, individual ones especially, very important. All right, Leslie and Jason, thank you so much. Sorry we got to run. We're back with more coverage.